Gala was one of the founder members of the Flying Eagles Rugby Club in Nyanga. He was selected for the Western Province board team in 1962 and won his national colours in 1967. Not only was he captain during the 1974 British Lions Tour, but also in 1975 against the French and the All Blacks in 1976. In 1977, the hooker was one of the few black players who were invited to take part in the unified Springbok trials at Loftus Fersfeld in Pretoria. After retiring in 1979 and after unification, in 1987 he was appointed senior selector of the Western Province Union. Young children will come up to him and ask him about how he felt at a time where he used to play rap and he will freely explain to them and there's one thing that I understand and truly speak out of my mind. He will always say to them, this is your chance guys, use it. He loved rugby. My brother loves rugby. It was his life. He even went to our children. I've got a son who's been mounted by him. He's love, he loves rugby also. Longtime friend and teammate, scrum half Norman Mbiko, remembers him fondly. I remember him as a humble man, good quality leader, very, very skillful, and he always wants success in everything he does. Magala was one of over 40 previous and current South African National Rugby Union captains who were honoured in 2013 by casting their hands and signatures in clay. The moulds are on display at the Springbok Experience Rugby Museum in Cape Town. A memorial service will be held on the 25th of June in Nyanga and the funeral will follow two days later. Mariska Boeta, SABC News, Cape Town.